Okay, so let's let's go over the last quiz that we had about circuits. So let's we already saw in the class how to calculate the total resistor that is to break or separate each of the components until you only have one one resistance. So let's do that. Okay, so just quickly. So here we can see these three resistors in a series. So we know we can call this like RT1. And uh, we know that RT1 is just uh, 5 ohms plus 5 ohms plus 10 ohms. Okay, and so this is equal to 20 ohms. Okay, so RT1 is 20 ohms. And as I told you in class, it is not necessary to, to do the next, but I guess that if you want to have a clear view, you need to uh, redraw the circuit. Substituting the resistors uh, for for only one resistor resistor that, uh, that is equivalent to the ones that we just solved. So uh, we can say that. Uh, so in this case, we have again my my battery of ten volts. Now I have this that we haven't uh, worked with. Okay, I have forgotten to to add here the value. So this is 8 ohms and there is a voltmeter here. That is V1 actually, that is one of the values that we need. Uh, here, okay. Well, so now let's continue. So we still have. So this is my eight ohm. This is ten ohms. I'm not going to draw the ammeter or the voltmeter yet because we don't need it right now. Uh, but what we know is that. RT1 is a resist an equivalent resistor that can be drawn just like this. And this is 20 ohms. Okay, so now what we do is we again we we notice that these two are in parallel, so uh, we are going to call this RT2. And uh, so now that because this is in parallel, we know that it's 1 over RT2 equals 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 20 ohms. And so this is equal. So it's one, let's just do the addition, the addition. so it is one tenth plus one twentieth, so this is three twentieth ohms. Let's just uh, write this as a decimal, okay? So. Uh, we already have the value, so we know. Ah, but uh, remember that R T two then is the reciprocal, so it is twenty over three, and uh, so this is equal to twenty divided by three. And so this is six point sixty six ohms. Okay, so RT two 
is an equivalent that is the result or the equivalent of these two resistors in parallel so this is equal to 6.66 ohms okay okay and now we are going to uh, to redraw this so let me just copy this in a new page and Uh, so we can redraw this actually we can just because i already have this in the previous so we know that this equivalent is 6.66 so i can just delete here And so this is RT2, so this is 6.66 ohms. Okay. And now we do have here uh, two resistors only collected in series, so we just add them so we can rename. this rt3 it's series so it's only rt3 equals uh, 8 ohms plus 6.66 ohms so it's just an addition so it is they already have I already have the result with more decimals, uh, but it's the same. Okay, so I'm going to use that result. Only I'm going to add eight. And so this is uh, 14.66 ohms. Okay, so now we can simplify this to a circuit with only one resistor that we can just draw here 10 volts and this is rt3 that is 14.66 ohms and now this is the total resistor of the uh, of the circuit okay now with this we can use ohms law uh, that is this uh, so it is series so it is the same uh, voltage everywhere so but we we can uh, calculate the i that uh, that is reduced here right uh, so we have i equals volts over resistor so we know that the volts is the battery so it is 10 volts and the resistor is 14.66 and so this is 10 divided by 14.66 so this is zero point sixty eight amps. Okay, and so this is the current of the circuit. Now uh, we need to go back to the original circuit. So I'm just going to to copy this. That is the original. Original circuit. Smaller to have space. And to delete these yellow lines that we don't need right now. So.
So this is the original, uh, the original circuit. So now we know that this um, we know that this i is this one, right? So this is uh, equals uh, zero point sixty eight. Amps. And uh, with that, we can calculate V1. So we know that V1 is current times resistor, the total resistor of the circuit that we. Ah, no, sorry, the resistor is the voltage here. Okay, uh, because remember that here you have a resistor. So that means that the current. Uh, or the voltage is reduced okay after we pass that that resistor so this is uh, equal to so we're going to use i the total current of the circuit that is 0 0.68 amps times this resistor that is 8 ohms And uh, so we just calculate this. So you already have that result in my calculator. So you only multiply this times eight. And the answer is 5.45 volts. Mm -hmm. And so this is V1. So now I have, we already have the answer for V1. This is V1. Now, uh, let's go to A1. Uh, so, I'm going to... I already saw this, so I'm just going to raise this white line. Okay. And uh, so now I'm going to draw it like here because this is where a1 is okay so a1 is in this branch and uh, so here if you if you ignore the part that we did in circle we have here a circuit in uh, series okay and we know that in series uh, the I uh, total okay that is the total the total current here okay uh, it's equal to 10 volts sorry 60 0 0.68 amps and this is equal to, I'm going to write here an A2 uh, plus A1. Okay, A1 is this. Okay, and I'm going to call A2 the, uh, the current that is here. Okay, so the current goes in this direction. So remember that the current passes here is one after the battery, but then when it crosses a resistor, it it is narrowed, mm -hmm. and uh, so we know that sixty point amps plus a two. So what is a two? Uh, so we know that a two is uh, let's use some slow. Uh, that is V1 I2 uh, plus V equal times the 8 the 8 ohm resistor here mm -hmm. okay. and uh, 
So we know we already know the value of b1 that is here. So that is five point forty five volts equal two times eight ohms. We need I2, right? Uh, so let's, I'm going to copy this, just to have it here. And uh, so we know that I2 equals 5.45 volts divided by 8 ohms, so I'm only solving for A2, right? So this is multiplying, so this goes here dividing, so. So we have this number divided by 8, and the answer is 0 0.68 ohms. And remember that mm. okay, so now here you can see that this is a uh, part in white, this is a circuit in series, and we know that in series the total voltage that is the one of the battery that is 10 volts equals the voltage here and the voltage here mm -hmm. so uh, here we have 10 volts equals b1 and we already know that b1 is 5.40 5 volts plus the voltage here that I'm going to call V2 so plus V2 so V2 equals the 10 volts minus 5.45 volts and uh, so this is equals 4.55 volts okay so the voltage here is 4.55 okay and uh, why do i need that to calculate the the uh, current here that is a1 so there we have again uh, so that this is b2 equals current 1, that is the one that we need, uh, times the resistor uh, here, that is 10 ohms, times 10 ohms, and uh, so as I told you, we need I1 or A1, it's the same, and so this is B2, that divides that is divided 10 ohms. Well, we know that V2 is what we just calculated. It's this is 4.55 volts. 4 uh, and well, this is divided by 10, so we only need to move the point. So this is equal to uh, 0 0.455 amps. And this is A1, okay? So this is the other number that we need, so A1. Mm -hmm. A this is A1, okay? And that's all.